asking questions, where we are as human beings in the moment, you know, we, we talk about global warming and, and global climate disruption. And so this is my, my part to, in, you know, part of my participation in that discussion. This is Lonnie Stark of Stark Silver Creek and we're here at the Institute of Contemporary Arts here in San Jose, California. I'm here with Crystal Del Bono who is the artist for the latest um, piece that will be shown here, an installation called Ice Flow. Um, thank you for spending some time. I know it's pretty busy right now. You're actually installing this piece. This is a site-specific installation which is responding to the environment, to the space, and it's not only the, the floor and the walls are important, but also the ceiling. So what we had to do in this case, because there's a lot of stuff happening on the ceiling, we created a false ceiling where we oh, mounted, um, where we, can, we were able to mount the little eye hooks too. Because all these cones, and there will be 1,500 cones in this mm -hmm. room, and about 1,300 will be hanging from the false ceiling. Each cone is individually strung by filament and comes down to the, to the floor to create this landscape or a three-dimensional painting. It depends on how you look at this. Or the idea came uh, to me in 1998 and I had been working with a, with a filter for many years already in a, on a bigger scale. They were human size or even taller and they always represent for me the human body and they represent for me that intake of nourishment and intake of information knowledge filtering it through one goes through the body yes. one goes through the brain the mind and, and all this result you know it's it's processed and the residue is what we are living on what we are being placing our uh, actions on mm -hmm. it shapes us you know who we are in this world What you see here in the middle is it's more like a glacier, like an ice field in, in motion. And it's, you know, it's, you know, we know about that, that push and pull of the ice, the melting and freezing again. So I want to create this mass mm -hmm. of, of, of ice. It, it's actually interesting when um, there's a bit of wind and stuff, that the whole mass sort of moves yeah. in unison, which um, is, is quite interesting. You get a real sense of motion yeah. from it. Yes. Makes installations take a lot, a lot, lot of time. There's an idea you have in the studio, studio, and then you start working on it, and then you have your elements, and then you see a space, and then you think about the layout of the space, and you have to deal with the pro problems of the space, and uh, so it's it's a process, and it, you know until the first initial discussion about what to do, and uh, and then finally getting together and doing it, you know, it can be well a, a year to, to two wow. years. Okay. And uh, it's always important for an artist to, to do an exhibition, to get the work out, because that informs me, because the viewers reacting to that. It is wonderful to experience people responding in a way that I see they make the connection. So, you know, what you, you were, when you came and saw, you know, what little was in progress and you felt compelled to write about your own experience traveling to, to the Arctic. I thought that is perfect. Yeah. That's it. There, she got it. She, you know, you went there. I haven't, I haven't <laughs> been there, you know, so, no, but then there's something, so obviously it's working. It, yes. You know, it, it, it brings it up. It brings that sensation yeah. up. And that's, that's what I'm really well, interested in. I, I think, he, I think you really capture the colors and, and um, the elements, like the dominant element mm -hmm. that I think about, or that, um, you know, when I think about my trip there, you know, what it evokes, I think you capture the the colors. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great to know because that's what, what all this work is about. It is a disseminating of ideas, 
asking questions, where we are as human beings in the moment, you know, we, we talk about global warming and, and global climate disruption. And so this is my, my part to, in, you know, probably my participation in that discussion. And uh, I wanted to do it in a very, in a very quiet way, you know, make people think and make this connection and, and wonder what, what can we do as individuals to, to, to change that. Can we do anything? And then, of course, the question is, can art change the world? And can, um, can we, as artists, you know, participate in, in, this, mm -hmm. in this discourse? I want to thank you for the time you spent uh, with us today sharing um, your thoughts about this piece as well as the process to install it. And I think uh, those that come and see this uh, will uh, you know, appreciate even more knowing how everything is put together. So thank you for your time. Yeah, yeah thanks for coming, Donnie.